Hey everyone, it's Ankit. Welcome to a brand new video. Today I want to talk about five stocks that could be really huge by 2040 and why they could be really huge. If you're excited about today's video, then drop a like. It really does help out with everything I'm doing and support everything I'm doing. Leave a comment with what stocks you think could be the five biggest stocks by 2040 and why. Subscribe if you're new for weekly videos on investing and about life. Let's try to hit 7,000 subscribers on this channel. With all that out of the way, let's get into today's video about the 5 stocks that could be huge by 2040. Prediction, these will be the 5 of the biggest stocks by 2040. Here's a hint, it's not Apple, it's not Amazon, it's not Microsoft or Google that they're talking about in this article. And this brings up a good point and something to think about when you're investing because you want to invest for the future and see what you can you can make great returns if you get your prediction right and also we're always constantly changing and in, there's all these new technologies and the world's always advancing if you've seen my Warren Buffett video, you know what I'm talking about when uh, he pointed out that the list in 1989 had these certain amount of companies and the majority of them were from Japan. And then now, now we look at uh, 2021, he said the companies were, my, you know, majority of you were United States companies and only one company made it from the list from 1989 to now so it's interesting so let's go over this list the first company or stock we have is uh, Square if you don't know what Square is or never heard of the company or never seen their products uh, many small companies use Square when uh, they're trying to check out customers it's a little tablet and then they have a card reader on the tablet so they can make transactions whenever you're buying and selling products for the small company and that's what Square does um, so Square also partnered up with SoFi for their stadium where when you want to buy food you don't have to even get off your chair you can just make the order using Square and get your uh, food or whatever it is your beverage or food but um, Square has an excellent chance to become one of the largest stocks by 2040. Square has be also become one of the most instrumental payment companies in the world. For more than a decade, Square has leaned on its seller's eco ecosystem and its uh, foundational puzzle piece. This segment provides a point of sale device, analytics, loans, and other tools to help merchants succeed. Square recognized 6.5 billion in gross payment volume on its network. This year, the seller ecosystem could top 150 million, uh, billion. This year, the seller's ecosystem could top 150 billion in GPV. Best of all, this is a merchant fee driven segment is seeing a larger percentage of GP fee originate from bigger businesses as defined by annual annualized GPV. But the bigger long term growth driver is peer to peer digital payments platform Cash App, which has uh, grown its monthly active users base from 7 million to 36 million in three years the next stock that's on the list is Shopify though it's already a top 60 company by market cap cloud-based e-commerce platform Shopify may well be like top 10 company in size by 2040 the core trend backing Shopify Ascent is simple. More and more businesses are shifting their operating presence online. Shopify 
is ready to help businesses of all size grow their e-commerce business. Furthermore, the services Shopify provides are high margin and generate predictable cash flow. While Shopify addresses, why Shopify addressable market for small businesses sits at 153 billion. This figure doesn't count for continuing innovation, regular introduction of new products, and its ability to secure deals with larger businesses that purchase its uh, two thousand dollars monthly Shopify Plus subscription services. Here's Shopify's website. Bring your business online. You can create a business online. It doesn't matter what you have. You know, food, jewelry food drinks beauty and cosmetics home and gardening so they're here to help you sell everywhere market your business manage everything empowering independent business owners everywhere doesn't matter where you are so I will have a course on how to create your own business Later in the future, I'm currently working on it. Uh, if you're interested, uh, just let me know in the comments below. Also, uh, how in depth you want me to go into this. I'm currently working on courses so you can create your own online business one day if you have the times and a little bit extra cash laying around. It's really easy to do. Uh, at first it might be difficult because you're learning a whole bunch of new skills and you're trying to market yourself and your brand so all that to keep in mind when you're taking that course but I'm currently working on it um, I can't wait to release it it'll be on YouTube it'll be free for everybody it will help you get that business and the extra cash and sell different products as well as help you know let's say you have kids you can help your kids sell their products or help them create a product and then you guys can sell it together it's a good way to bond and learn all these different business skills and uh, assets and liabilities and what they can do for you and what they how you know businesses run so the course will be in depth um, it'll be free so that's what I'm currently working on it's gonna be long but uh, if you pay attention, it's going to be worth your while and it's going to help you a lot. And escape from be having that 9 to 5 job to having your own business. And doing whatever you want in life. Here's Shopify's uh, finance. And as you can see, their finances look great. The only thing that's alarming is the net change in cash they're down 146 percent but they still have a lot of cash on hand as you can see the 2.36 billion the cost of revenue is up 46 percent so the revenue is up 56 percent this is why many people are investing in this company and it still has a lot of room to grow with all the three different things that the article mentioned Airbnb is the next stock that's on the list another big time disruptor with inspiration of becoming one of the largest stocks by 2040 is the stay and hosting platform in case you guys don't know airbnb airbnb would have would in order for it to be one of those largest you know stocks it will need to climb up a hundred spots in the market cap rankings over the next 19 years first and foremost it is completely disrupting the traditional hotel operating model according to Airbnb over 4 million households worldwide are being used for hosting and are in many cases cheaper more conventional more private than local hotels Though the pandemic threw a monkey at the ranch into the works uh, for a couple of quarters, it's worth you know pointing out that the bookings are more 
quadrupled in the three years. As the world becomes more remote, Airbnb has the opportunity to secure the lion's share of business from these work from anywhere individuals. And don't overlook the experience segment, which hires local experts to lead travelers on adventures. Experiences will allow Airbnb to further infiltrate the 9.2 trillion travel and tourism industry that's available. Airbnb, here's their website. So you can put in the location, check in, check out, guess. Not sure where to go? Perfect. I'm flexible. Just click it. Explore nearby. Here's all the different places you can go nearby wherever you live. Entire homes, pets allowed, unique stays, outdoor get getaways, experiences, online experiences, outdoor collection, destinations for art and culture, destinations for outdoors. So they provide everything. Whatever you're trying to do, they have it here for your getaway. You should check out their website. So let's look at Airbnb's financials. And if you're wondering, Airbnb's ticker is ABNB. And it's trading at right now at $170 as of today. And if you look at their balance sheet and their financials, they look amazing. Everything's green. The operating income is, you know, negative 50 million. Net income is negative 68 million. And if you look at March 2021, here's the financials for that. It looked horrible. But as, you know, more people are working remote. And, you know, this company has a bright future ahead of it because people want to start going back to traveling getting away from life a little bit they might make it a lot more easier helping them everyone out then we have Salesforce which is uh, doesn't have a bigger hill to climb compared to Airbnb the cloud-based customer relationship management CRM software provider Salesforce is closer to that mark than any other company on this list with a market cap of nearing 300 billion it looks to be well on its way to becoming foundational tech giant that other businesses envy and according to IDC it was responsible for 19.5 of global CRM spending in 2020 that's more than the number two's through number five in the market share combined basis. CRM software spending is slated for double digit annual growth through at least mid decade. So let's go check out their website and their financials. So here is the Salesforce website. Headspace increased leads by 300%, powered by customers 360. What's new at Salesforce? Get insight from more than 2,500 small business leaders. Learn how businesses make their own CRM decisions with other helpful guides. Learn what Salesforce products can do for you. Small businesses, sales, service, and see all the other products that they have. And if you want to watch the demo, you can just by going to their website all sorts of content all to help you grow so Salesforce has a lot to offer depending on where you are what if you're a small business what kind of person you are Salesforce which is trading under the ticker CRM trading at $292 today Here's their financials. Uh, their revenue's up 
their net income's down 79%. Diluted EPS is down 80%. Net profit margin is down 83%. Operating income's up 116%, which is good. Net change in cash is alarming, which is down 30%. They're still in negative 2.24 billion. But the cash on hand makes up for it because they have 6.3. And that's up 55%. Cost of revenue is uh, 1.6 billion. And it's up 23%. And the last stock on the list that they have for this is C Limited. A fifth and final company that could become one of the largest stocks by 2040 is uh, Singapore Base. C sits at just inside the top 50 at the moment right now. The market cap of nearly 200 billion. C's secret weapon is that it has not one or two but three rapidly growing operating segments for the time being. The company gaming division is the only one generating positive earnings before interest, tax, depreciation, and amortization. The company had approximately 725 million mobile game users in the second quarter, 12.7% of which were paying to play. This uh, pay to play uh, conversion rate that will well above the industry's average of closer to 2%. For instance, the 15 mil billion in gross merchants value purchase in the second quarter places Shopee's annual sales run rate 500 higher than the GMV producer. Here's C Limited's website. Forensics, Imaging Sciences, Vehicle Testing and Safety, Consumer Products and Health Sciences. So they provide all these different services and they're kind of hitting almost a wide variety of industries that you can never think about. So these were the three uh, segments that they were talking about in that article. When you click on when you click on capabilities, you can see all the different capabilities they have. Here it is. And that is a good amount. And when you let's see what news and uh, events they have going on. C Limited SE is currently trading at 366.99. So let's look at their finance or their financial statements. The revenue is up 158%. The net income is down 10.3. They're at negative 433 million. Net profit margin is down 19%. But right now it's up 57%. Operating income is down 371 million. It's only up 20.24%. Net change in cash is down 185%, which is alarming. But they already had cash on hand, which is $4.65 billion, which is up 35%. Cost revenue is $1.35 billion, up 98%. So their earnings look great. 